Okay, and this is the four and a half inch um, piece of fabric, and it's going to be for the pocket in the back. And what you do is you make the little um, rectangle, and then you iron it, which I actually think it's a triangle. And then what you do is you sew a seam on the top of it, and I chose to do creative um, stitching here, but most people, I think, are just doing a straight stitch. So once you get the pocket sewn, then this is the backing that I've chosen. So you'll put the backing on here like this. And then you put the heart on there. You need to line it up to the edges here. And uh, when you do that, you need to make sure that you don't go too far down because you're going to be doing a quarter of an inch here. And you don't want to catch the pocket. So you want to make sure that the heart is far enough up so that it won't catch the pocket. And then you uh, pin it down to keep it together. And you leave an opening of about two inches right here. So I've marked it so that uh, I don't go over that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. Starting up here. You can stop. And then, as you know, when you um, have an opening, especially with a small piece, you want to go back and forth a couple of times so it doesn't come out. So then what you do is you cut the heart out. And what you'll want to do, I think as you know, because you sew, is you will want to snip the round edges of the heart so that it will turn inside out easier. Okay, and then you turn it inside out. I didn't do the um, squares like everybody else did, but I bet you they had a harder time turning the squares inside out than they do the hearts. And one of the ladies from Sewing Seeds um, gave us these chopsticks. So I use the chopsticks in order to punch it out. I think that they have a special tool for that, and maybe you do too. So then you, we're going to stitch the hole closed. My heart didn't end up being just right, but it 
this is just for just to show you so then I'm gonna go iron it and pin my thing shut okay okay so I went ahead and ironed it real good and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little top stitch on here Okay, and so that part is done as far as the pocket and the heart, as you can see here. So they have been stitching the um, heart, I mean the cross on the outside. So what I did was I took, I have this little bitty piece of um, ribbon and I go through the front with this needle, it's a pretty big needle. And you have to really tug at it to get it through. And then you go on the other side. Now, people are doing this part um, different ways. So you may choose to use like uh, a thread and just do it on the top, or you can do a ribbon like this. I think it looks really pretty. And I'll show you some that I have done. And I chose these crosses that are a little bit more ornate than the little simple crosses, just because I liked it better and I thought it made it look prettier. So you just take the cross and you put it, thread it through there. Of course it's not going to. And I go ahead and get a little extra ribbon. I said 12 inches. And that's prob that's because I cut it to what I want it to look like when I get done. So you tie a knot and then you tie a bow. I put the cross on the wrong side. So I took it out and I'm going to start over. I am so thankful, Bar Barbara, that you're a forgiving woman. Okay, so then I, I do the same thing here, <laughs> except for you put the cross in the front. But anyway, what I was going to say is some people are using um, just thread and they put the cross on there. Uh, 
and then make it easier. Some are, they, they're just doing it whatever way is easiest for them. And I did it this way, like I said, because I thought it was prettier that way than um, to do it the other way. And while I'm doing this, I can show you that we have, that's what the prayer that you put in the pocket. Now, if you would like, I can put that on some bond paper and print it out and cut them for you and bring those to you also. Whatever you need me to do to make it easier for you. So then you put the ribbon on there. And obviously you can do, it. contrasting colors I think look better, you know, in the back. I didn't have the right color for the ribbon, but you can see it better that way anyway. And then you just put this little prayer in the back of the pocket, and then you're done. And I'm going to reach behind me and show you the ones that I did. Which this is um, the way that the, it on shabby fabric they have a video that shows you how to do the quilting part and and the so if you need me to show you how to do that I can do that too but anyway so I just um, put that's how I did the cross and the quilting part so but I think most people are starting to use one fabric. Uh, one color fabric instead of doing the quilting. So anyway, let me know if you want a heart or if you um, need me to cut out some of these prayers for you or if you need some crosses. Um, anything you need, let me know and um, I can help you with that. So I hope this was helpful. I think it was a little too much information. I think you just wanted to know how to put them together. So um, if you did, didn't get it, um, please call me back and I wouldn't hesitate to uh, do it again or do whatever you need me to do. So there you go.